Hello everybody from the Young Riders Academy. My name is Franke Slothag. I'm training several riders from the Young Riders Academy. I have a lot of fun with them. I like to do this work and uh, my opinion is very important to train young people and make actually, you know, the things more sensitive for the future to grow up, how to work the horses. First of all, with the most younger riders, the most important part is first of all, the position of the rider, the balance of the rider, uh, because if this is not correct, you have no influence on the horse. After that, it's only the part to work the horse, how to improve the horse. And this already starts with the movement of the horse, um, how better the movement is, the more the horse is in balance, the longer the horse will stay sound. This is for us is very important for the training and for our future. That's why my opinion is uh, that we have to work a lot of, and in this case, and it starts uh, with the normal basic flat work. So first of all, when we start the uh, training, it's all already to warm up the horse is in, in the way that we try already there to get activity. You know, we have to look activity. Some horses are by nature a little bit more hot or a little bit more active. Other horses who are, who are not so active, we have to make them a little bit more active. So even though know, you can, can start now, make one time there's a cave and you use your left leg if the horse is going correct to the side. You know, keep the contact with your outside rein and push with your inside leg, the horse should move away a little bit from your leg. You know, first for the ride as well, it's very important that you have the feeling my horse is reacting correct. When the horse is going correct away from my left leg, I can start on the other circle to do it a little bit on what, how the horse moves away from my right leg. What the people look for, the people look for who is moving the best. This is, you know, what we want from the horse as well. We want to show the horse, so he has to move correct. And that's everybody, you know, when the horse is moving extra, everybody in the collecting ring, he will part. When the body is correct, the head and his neck will follow this. And it's not the other way around. When we have the neck and the head in the position, that the body will follow. This never will work. So always remember and always think that, okay, the most important thing is to make the body working. So, good, better. And again. A little bit so, composting trot again, like Traben, posting trot, so a little bit forward, and then you use your seat again to slow down again. Come, first your seat, keep pushing, so, check, check, check. you know, keep the activity from behind, good. It's always we prepare the walk, when the work is working good, then we do the trot, when the trot is working good, and we can make our exercise, then we do the, uh, the trot and then afterwards you know when there everything is work we do the gallop so now we start a little bit you know to work in the gallop but make the same exercises move forward slow down and move correct from his hind leg forward again okay start to gallop outside rein outside leg back with your inside leg you give the impulsion so and straight away start to be active <clears throat> no problem very good very good Okay, and then you slow down, so, but keep your seat, seat, seat. You don't slow down with your hands, just, you know, by activating the hind legs, the horse should slow down. Okay, once again, slow down. Check, 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 active, outside rein, outside leg, outside leg, outside rein, good. And again, move out a little bit. Good. And slow down again. The quicker you know afterwards you can change these things, the better it is. You know, you keep this activity, train, right, train, right leg. So, perfect, very good. Then you straight have the horse, you have the horse in a good canter on the other side. The horse stays on a straight line, the activity is there, and you have a correct balance then. Okay, and slow down again. Active, suck, suck, outside rain, outside rain. They are good. Inside rain, you see that the inside rain, we don't need so much. Eh? I always say the inside rain is, is there for that the horse is not looking to the outside. Little walk. Very important is as well that we make our exercises and not, you know, continue all the time. Very important is to make a little, when the horse is doing something good, 
something correct, give it a little break that he understands as well he had been in, doing in a nice job, that he, everything is working good. Then you know that the horse will start after when you make the exercise again. Thank you, Enno. This has been nice. Now we're going to see Laura with her seven-year-old mare and we will see how she will make this work. You see, you know, from the horse what Enno was riding and what we have now, we have two different horses. The other already we have to see, you know, that approach to uh, uh, every horse is different. You know, we have to look, take care of this. Uh, what is the most important for how we get to the horse? You know, this horse by nature is, has a lot more activity. Uh, but still, even then, when the horse has more activity, we should not be afraid to ask. You know, there's okay. Not with, with, with pressure or not with that's okay, but always try as well to improve the movement. There as well, it's the same as the other horse. She has to learn to react correct for the legs, but not be afraid for the legs. Even there, when you make the trot, and even that you say, okay, you work a little bit like shoulder in, you make a little bit, you know, this forward, you open a little bit, sit, slow down again. These exercises, you know, they never stop. It's always the same. What is this? Good, good. And then relax a little bit, let the horse go a little bit. Feel how much is necessary. We always say as less, less as possible, as much as necessary. And there all the time, you know, that then you see already that these things, without asking, without doing anything, we don't go somewhere for the future. And that the body is getting more soft, that the body is giving in, Good, good, and then you leave a little bit again. At the moment you leave them, then they start to relax. Then, then you start to make a little the gallop as well, and in the gallop, you make sometimes little, little exercise, you know, make one time a small circle. Make the horse from your seat, eh? when the circle is getting smaller, the balance is there, you can use your seat, you can use your the connection of the seat and the leg is very important. Oh, there. Because then you can see, you know, that how much impulsion we need, how much connection with the horse we need, and that is important. Good, and just outside rain. Try to keep the horse just straight, out. Sometimes it's good as well, good, very good. Another aspect what is important as well to keep the horse straight is that the hind leg, you know, when you bend the horse really very uh, a lot, then sometimes the horse is getting afraid with the inside leg to put the leg correct underneath, under the, under the body. So they start, you know, with a small step with the inside hind leg, you know, try and then you make a flying change. You make the same exercise afterwards on the right side. Don't stand up, sit. The horse should be normal, you know, unless you make once again. Flying change, just let the horse bend a little bit to the left, bending, first left bending, first left bending, good, that's good. And once back again. That you there already as well, you start as well that from you see the feeling, you know, that you feel the movement when the horse, because it's very important by flying changes, you know, to have the correct balance, that the horse staying correct and straight in front of you. Because when the horse is straight, there is no problem for flying change. It's always, you know, most of the time the people want to change the, the, the gallop. Eh? But the horse should just, and even there, when you don't, Laurie can show one time, don't do anything, just make a little bit your left rein, just your left rein, leave the horse gallop. And when you just look, let the horse look a little bit to the left, the horse should follow to make the flying change. Make one time. Little bit, bend them to the left, bend the horse to the left and wait. So, then you see the horse will stay straight in front of you without doing anything, you know, that the balance is there, the horse is correct in, in, in a straight line, then the flying change will be no problem. A little walk, huh? always there as well. When the horse is doing something nice, the horse stays relaxed, 
give him a little break that the horse feels, oh, I've been doing good. Here you can see the horse is nice, relaxed and happy. Important is happy horse, happy rider.